Ah, I can't see anything back here. I wish I had some more light. That's so much better. Have you always wanted some great looking mirrors that have lights in them that are actually functional, but you just have a baseline truck? Well, even if you don't have all the bells and whistles, you can add these and you can get them at oneauto.com. These mirrors are manual, so you don't have to worry about any motors and wiring any of that stuff in. The bottom one's manual as well. Before you start running wires everywhere, you want to determine where each one is going to go. Starting with the ground wire. It's going to be the easiest one. Let's take a look under the dash. We've removed some of the panels so that you can see what's going on. And you want to access any piece of metal that's actually attached to the chassis. That's going to work great for a ground. You could even take some where there's paint, grind it down and use a self-tapping screw. But we don't even need to do anything that drastic. You find a stud that works. With the ground wire figured out, now we just have three left to go. We're going to need power for each one of these. So let's start with the reverse light or the spotlight, however you want to wire this in. Let's find where we're going to put this one. On this vehicle, we have a fuse box right here. And if any of these fuses are actually powered up when you turn a certain switch on or put it in reverse, that would be a ideal location to add this wire. For this vehicle though, we are actually gonna go under the hood. Looking at the fuse box under the hood, we can actually see that fuse number 10 is part of the trailer brake backup fuse. And that's only gonna come on when the vehicle goes into reverse. You're only gonna get power at that fuse at that time. So we wanna connect to that fuse. How we're gonna do that, that fuse is right here. We're gonna use one of these piggyback connectors. So we're gonna pull the fuse out, put the fuse right there. There's another fuse in here that we're gonna splice in these two wires here. So we'll get the power going to the original fuse for the backup lights, and then we're gonna have power coming through here, going to our mirrors for the spotlights. We know where the white wire is gonna go. Now we only have two left to figure out. Let's move on to the yellow wire. This yellow wire is gonna be for these lights right here on the front of the mirror. We want those to come on when the parking lights are on or even the driving lights. So when you turn the switch on, those come on. Luckily, the same fuse box has a parking lamp fuse, the left side and a right side. We, it doesn't matter which one we go into. And that's fuse number 26. So that fuse, when the parking lights get turned on, that fuse gets energized, you get power there. So we can tap right into there. And we're gonna do the same thing with one of these piggyback connectors, put that in there, and then splice the wire together. The running lights are all figured out. Now the last one is gonna be the turn signal lights. For the turn signals, we're not gonna be able to tap into a fuse like we did the other two circuits. There is a trailer fuse that does flash when it comes on, but the problem with that, it's for the tail lights and it also comes on when you step on the brake. So we don't want that. So we're gonna to have to go further down the road closer to where the blinker or turn signals are. And we can pull the light out. I do have the turn signal on. You can see this is gonna be the bulb where we're gonna tap in the wire. And for this vehicle, it's gonna be this blue wire right here. We can follow it back to the connector. If we disconnect the connector, The blue wire is right there. That would also be the blue and white wire right here. Now, we could tap into the wiring harness, but it's a little nicer if we just tap into the harness for the light assembly itself, so we're gonna do that. Now we know where each wire will go. The ground wire is going under the dash, these two power wires are coming to the fuse box and this wire is gonna go for the turn signal and it's gonna go all the way to the light. Remember, you have the other side as well, so you're gonna double up on these wires, but the turn signal is gonna go to the opposite side light. To get the wires in the cab of the vehicle, we're gonna have to go through this accordion seal right here, or grommet, and we're just gonna use some trim tools. You can just push right on there there's a little tab right there and you pull it that releases it from that side and then on the inside right here and if you have to you can pull these pieces off 
makes it a little bit more movable. We'll put those on afterwards. Just push that out of the way. What I'm going to use is a piece of brake line. And just slide it through here, just like that. You can tape the wire to the brake line and then pull it straight through. And we got it through there. Now we can take the tape off. Now we got these wires coming through here. We want to take and start with the ground wire. So take the black one. And obviously we do not need it this long. And just try to run it where it's not gonna rub up against anything. We're gonna need the wires to go through this grommet right here. So we're gonna use a tool like this. This is extremely sharp, but this is how you're gonna run the wires through there. And just from the outside, you want to be careful. You want to check on the inside which way the wires go as well when you're using a tool like this. Because if the wires go to the right, you don't want to stab this and then have it go through the wires because they're on the right. So I know there's room for this right here on the right side. And just slide it through. Might have to push it back and forth. Get that through. Now what I'm going to do is take the wires, and just twist them a little bit, and then we're going to push those through here. Works well if you really twist them together. We get the wires through the firewall, so now we're gonna start hooking these up two wires at a time. We'll start with the white ones. That's gonna be the reverse lights or the spotlights on the mirrors. Here's the two white wires, and here's the piggyback that's gonna go right here. So we have fuse number 10. We'll pull that out, put that in here. I'm gonna take some shrink wrap, just slide it down here. This is where the connector is. And crimp the connector down. Just give this a wiggle. That's good. And put the shrink wrap over this and I'll heat this up. Now we can move on to the yellow wires. And that one is going to go right here. Get another piggyback connector. And we're going to do the same thing we just did with the other one. Now I have the two turn signal wires right here. To prevent from mixing them up, one, you have the length of the wire. I know that this is the one that's going to go on the driver's side. But also, before I sent them through the firewall, I did take the insulation off this one so that I would know that that's for the passenger side. So I have to make an extended wire all the way to the passenger side light. And this one just has enough to get to the driver's side headlight. At this point, we want to test the lights and make sure everything's working properly. It's going to be easier to move stuff around if you need to, rather than after everything's all back together to figure out something's not working right. We'll start with the marker lights first. So we're just going to turn the parking lights on. And those work, so that's a good sign. And check the other side, the other side works as well. Then we'll try the turn signals, and those are working. And then make sure you check the other side as well, and those are working fine. And one more thing, just to make sure, I'm gonna step on the brake pedal and make sure that they don't come on with the brake pedal. And they don't, which is good. Now we're going to check the spotlights, which we have wired into the reverse lights. So we're going to start the vehicle up, put it in reverse. And those work. And they're working on both sides. So that's perfect. 
That's how you can wire in some lighted mirrors on your basic vehicle. Not too hard, they look great, and they're functional. You can get those at 1AAuto.com. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos.